Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I write young adult fiction. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, I am Laura. In today's video, I am going to be doing the newbie author tube tag. So uh, this is not really my first writing video. I've done a few before. I think they were mostly just around NaNoWriMo, and then I kind of stopped doing them um, just because I had a lot of stuff going on in my life, as most of you know. If not, watch some of my old videos. It's too much to talk about in this one. But I've had a lot of stuff happen in 2019 and 2019 was really has really been a year that I want to focus on, you know, pursuing my dreams. And one of my ultimate dreams for most of my life has been to become a traditionally published author. So I really want to focus on that and I really want to take my channel and focus it on the things that encourage me and inspire me. And one of those is writing. So I want to start doing more writing videos and I really want to be a, a bigger part of AuthorTube. I love watching AuthorTube videos and now I just kind of want to be part of that. So if you are in AuthorTube and you like following those, I hope that you will hit subscribe if you haven't already. So in order to sort of start my official sort of entry into author tube I thought I'd do this newbie tag that kind of just gives a little bit about me so without further ado let's get to the questions oh I want to mention that I got this tag from Moon Petri's page who is a newer author tuber I will link her down in the description check her out I want to mark this right now guys I want to be the first one maybe I'm the first one on YouTube to say She's gonna make it. I can just tell, you can just tell. You just get, you know, you get a vibe from people. She's gonna make it, guys. She's gonna get published, and you heard it here first. All right, so here is question number one. How did you find out about AuthorTube? You know, I'm not really sure because I've been really into like the YA community and like BookTube and book Instagram stuff um, for years now. But probably my brother Kevin, if you don't know my brother Kevin, he also has a YouTube channel. His is Kevlandia. He's always linked in my description. He is a young adult writer as well, and he already has an agent, so he's farther in the game than I am. And he's usually the one who kind of steers me in the direction of most things. Even though I'm the older sister in this way, he's always the one giving me advice and pushing me in the direction because for so many years I was scared to pursue my dreams and Kevin has never been afraid to pursue his and he has only encouraged me to do the same so thank you kevy love you okay so that's probably how i heard about it was through kevin he probably made some recommendations um number two what genres do i write in so i like all the things you will learn about me that i do not like to just focus on one thing it's one of the many reasons why i didn't finish my phd in english literature because when you do your phd you have to be singularly focused in one area and i just love all the things that's kind of why my channel is not singularly focused i love all the things i love to talk about all the things do all the things learn all the things so in terms of genre I love all the things I like contemporary sci-fi fantasy um you name it I have ideas for it so I kind of write all of them currently I'm writing a contemporary but I got some other things in the works what is my preferred tense and category of story so category young adult um this I've been pursuing young adult writing since about 2013 prior to that I was trying to be a little like literary high fiction I sucked at it. It's not me. But as much as I love literary fiction, I just don't write it. That's just not who I am. What I've always been drawn to, what I was secretly reading when I was supposed to be reading Hawthorne and Melville and Poe, who I was reading, I was also reading Princess Diaries and and The Selection and, you know, all of those things at the same time. I've been reading young adult since way before I was even a young adult. I started reading young adult at like six. So I was reading Babysitter's Club, not Babysitter's Little Sister, Babysitter's Club in like the second grade. So I've always been been into young adult stuff. And so it, when I really wanted to like, my heart of hearts become a writer, I was like, I need to be a YA writer because I am the oldest teenager on YouTube, guys, okay? I'm never gonna grow up when it comes to that kind of stuff. I live for teenage angst and all of that stuff. So that's my gig, that's what I wanna do. I write young adult. Now, in terms of tense, I've only ever written in first person present. I just am really, really like into the angst, into the feelings, and I really like feel like I need to be in that. Although I think that writing in other tenses might be easier, and I've really considered doing past tense. 
And if I ever write a fantasy, which I have an idea for a fantasy, if I ever write it, that would probably be third person because I feel like fantasy lends itself. You need kind of like the, um, you know, the omniscient narrator kind of vibe. But right now, what I write is um, first person present because I need to be in the feelings. I need to be in it. That's what I'm there for. So I'm a very character driven, angsty, emotional writer. All right, number four, are you a plotter, pantser, or planter? I mean, I guess maybe technically I'm a planter, but I would definitely say I'm more of a plotter. I tried to pants my first book I ever wrote. I got about halfway through it pantsing, and I was like, this is a nightmare, this is a mess, I don't know what I'm doing, and then I outlined the rest. The one I'm working on right now, I used uh, Kat from Catty Tastic's channel. I will link her in the description. Her 27 chapter nine block, I think that's what, yeah, um, system, and it has really worked well for me in terms of plotting and I really feel confident in where I'm going with the story but my outline is not super detailed so it'll say like character makes a big gesture here and I don't know what the big gesture is yet sometimes they come to me before I write because that one actually kind of did the other day <laughs> but um other times I won't know what that thing is until I'm writing it so I guess that's technically a planter but I do very heavily outline because if not I, I don't know where I'm going. I, it's a nightmare. And also I feel like using um, these sort of, I'm a kind of plug-in kind of person. I teach uh, college level English and that's how I teach my students to write. I think it's really, it makes things more accessible when you feel like there's a formula, even though what you read doesn't sound like it's from a formula, if that makes sense. So yeah, the, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a plotter for the most part. Okay, am I self-published, published, or yet to be? I am yet to be. Um, I would like to be traditionally published. Now, if I try that for a while and it doesn't happen, then I probably will self-publish, but it has always been my dream to be traditionally published, to have my books out there in the world, uh, and I'm not as good at the marketing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I want to leave that to the professionals and I want to focus on the writing. So who is my publisher or agent or my dream one? I don't have a dream one. I would like to have one that's reputable and has wide distribution um, because my, my family's from a small town in Illinois outside of Chicago. So if I could get my book in a bookstore where they could find it, that would be ideal. Um, so they could go in there into the like one bookstore within like 50 miles and be like, that's my cousin, that's my sister. So um, I need to, I want to give my family something to brag about. This is my, my little girl Khaleesi. Hi sissy. Mommy's trying to do a video right now. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Okay, okay. And the, and the snorting one is my dog, Falcor. So anyway, um, so I don't really have a dream one, just one that could, you know, get me there. Uh, what kind of videos can we expect to find on your AuthorTube channel? So I don't really want to do videos where I'm like, here's how to write in, you know, not passive voice or whatever. Like I'm a teacher, in my real life so like in my real life you know what i'm trying to say so i don't want to be a teacher on youtube um i i, I love people who do it i watch those videos that's just not what i want to do this is more about me like talking about my journey what i'm going through chronicling that journey um my process and then sharing that with other people and having you share your process with me that's what i'm trying to do Okay, number eight, when did you start writing? Okay, so this is kind of hard to answer. So in the second grade, I really loved Babysitter Club. And I would practice my cursive writing out the book because I wanted to imagine what it was like to write a book. So I that wasn't my own stories, but that's when I really first started writing like, ooh, this is what it's right to write a book. Side note, my second grade teacher yelled at me for doing that, said it was plagiarism and that I would go to jail. So apparently she thought a second grader was going to try to pass that off as her own work. When really I was just practicing my cursive. You know who you are if you're watching. Mrs. B, I won't say your name. Anyway, she sort of freaked me out there for a while. Then the third grade was the first time I wrote my own book. Um, and then in sixth grade I started writing poetry terrible poetry and then I really started writing like more um I don't know like effort wise I mean I wrote poetry all through high school didn't we all um and then in college I uh, minored in creative writing so then I started like really writing so um what was the first story you ever wrote so that was in third grade it was called the mysterious the three mysterious ghosts 
Uh, it didn't go very far though because I asked my third grade teacher how to spell mysterious and she told me to look it up in the dictionary Which was very confusing to me because how can you look something up in the dictionary if you don't know how to spell it? Doesn't make sense. I was looking up MI never found mysterious so the book never went anywhere. Thanks a lot I guess I didn't have that great at elementary school teachers. Uh, you know who you are mrs. F. All right um what authors have inspired your writing the most? So I feel like the first authors that I felt ever spoke to me as a teen, and that's kind of like how I want, although I don't know that I write like them, I'm not as talented as them, but that would be Francesca Leah Block and Stephen Spassky, because all of Francesca Leah, I was like a total like grunge, loner, metalhead, alternative kid in high school. I felt like nobody understood me. I was so different than everyone. And I felt like those books really spoke to me and understood understood my experience in high school. Francesca Leah Block, it was just so beautiful and magical and I dreamed of being in LA and um, which I eventually moved to LA and lived there for six years and I took a writing class with Francesca Leah Block in her home. There was only like six of us in the class. We met once a week in her living room. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. And then Stephen Shabosky, who we all know, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, spoke to all of us, I think, in high school. And I did get to meet him as well when I was living in California, and it was a dream. I cried, and it was a big ordeal. So they, I think, influenced me the most. They really felt like they spoke to me at a time when I feel like people didn't understand me. And I don't know, I, I always think of them when I think about uh, writing. All right, number 11, do you schedule your writing sessions or just do it whenever you can find the time? I actually have a lot of time on my hands. I don't have children um, and right now I'm in between jobs so I especially have a lot of time but for me I do struggle with mental health issues. I do uh, struggle with depression, anxiety, and panic disorder and so really for me it's about finding the time that I can be mentally there because sometimes um, you know I, I just can't. Sometimes I just I don't have the energy, the mental energy. Uh, but I'm really trying to work on being better about that and lately I've been a lot more productive in these last, like especially this last week or so and I'm really hoping that Camp Nano is going to get me to the finished draft of my current contemporary. So for me it's not about like finding time in my day, it's about finding time in, with mental energy. So I kind of write whenever I have the mental energy to do it and uh, yeah that can vary. Okay, computer, typewriting, hand or blend and where do, do you write in general? So I mostly write in my bed. I have a giant king size bed with a majestic headboard that is so comfortable to sit against and I just, I love my bed. So I like to write in my bed, it's the most comfortable for me. Um, in terms of computer typewriting hand, so I write on the computer on my laptop, my MacBook, but my notes all have to be in hand. I don't know, that's just, I guess that's how I learned, like fundamentally. I keep having this piece of hair right here guys, I can see in the monitor, it's driving me nuts. Ugh. Big hair problems. Anyway, um, I just, I have to write by hand. It has to make sense to me. I need that kinetic, uh, you know, uh, learning to like get the ideas. But I'm trying to learn to outline better on the computer just because I tend to lose things that I write by hand. But Lord, I could not write a book by hand. No, that just like makes my brain hurt. Those of you who write by hand, I know Moon, you said you did. Mm-mm, that is not for me. So I could never do that. There was a girl in high school, oh my gosh, that note. There was a girl in high school who was writing a book and I remember thinking, oh my God, who does she think she is that she's writing a book in high school? Now I'm so jealous of her because she was way ahead of the game. But she wrote it in notebooks and she had the, all these notebooks and I would just see her writing, 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 writing. And then she'd finish the notebook and go into the next one. And I remember thinking, wow, that chick is so weird. But now I am so jealous. She was totally killing it and I hope she published. I hope she's out there. Erica, if you're out there, I hope you're doing it, girl, because you really were on something, but I could never, ever do that. All right, last question. What are you most looking forward to uh, for author team? Okay, so I love to talk guys if you can't tell I love to talk I love to share it's just who I am um, And I love to talk about the things that I love and so that's why I love YouTube and I love the community aspect of it I'm really looking for more writer friends I'm looking to talk with more people network with more people and just I feel like the more I talk about it The more I focus on it the more I will be able to do it and get it done because I've really been working towards wanting to be a published author since 2013 and it's like going on six years now guys and I just like I need the momentum and I feel like YouTube is the perfect place to like get the momentum meet people be inspired and encouraged and so that's what I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to I'm not looking forward to looking at this hair when I edit it when I edit this video okay what I'm looking forward to is talking with you guys um 
sharing my ideas, my process, my journey, and having you guys share with me as well. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. All right, guys. Well, that is all of the questions. That is me. I also do um, have Twitter and Instagram. So please make sure that you are following me on both of those. They are both Laura 2.0 and they are also in the description. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already following me, make sure that you are and that you hit the bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.